Hello Pisces, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Pisces, this is your reading for the month of Feb and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading, Pisces, we'll see what is your energy, what you need to know for the month of Feb. The energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. There is an extended reading for this one. Link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly really thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. All right. One card has already jumped out. We have four of pentacles over here to start with. What is your energy? We have four of pentacles. So then we have four of pentacles the temperance the devil interesting as far as your love life is concerned king knight of cups knight of pentacles two of wands and I'll pull out the oracle cards. What are the messages, general messages you need to know? What are the special messages you need to know? This is something we'll discuss at the fag end. All right. If I have to talk about the zodiac signs, I see Sagittarius, I see Capricorn. I see Scorpio, I see another Pisces, I see Aries. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Hmm. So Pisces, what is your energy? Four of Pentacles. You're holding yourself back. You're holding yourself back from what? Okay, I do feel Pisces that... You know, when we don't have things, we are all about the things that we don't have, okay? We are like, oh, I don't have the love I want. I don't have the abundance that I want. I want it at any damn cost. I want it. Like, I am working so hard towards my life and I am not getting what I deserve. I'm not getting the love that I deserve. I deserve so much more. I know that. I'm manifesting. I'm working with law of attraction. I'm writing down affirmations. You put in so many efforts when you don't have that, what you want. And when all of a sudden, one day, all of a sudden, what you want is right standing in front of you. Okay. And at that very point, you become i think so people become numb sometimes or people become clueless as to how should i react to this this is what i wanted for so many days so many years and now finally it is there in front of me finally it wants to enter in my life the love wants to enter in my life the abundance wants to enter in my life and then at that point of time out of fear or sometimes we refuse to believe that this is what I want or what I want is standing right in front of me. And that's what I'm getting over here. Like abundance, what you're trying to manifest for so many years, whether it is love, abundance, whatever you're trying to manifest, uh, balance in your life, overall balance in your life. And when it is standing in front of you it is standing outside of your door you're opening the door but you are refusing to let it in that is because you don't know sometimes it happens to us like we don't know how to react when we when we badly want something and finally it is there for us we don't know how to react at that point of time when we are clueless we kind of take a step back and that's what I'm feeling over here for you, Pisces. Like you're taking a step back. You're taking a step back from what you wanted. No, don't do that. Okay. When you take a step back, doesn't mean that you are like pushing what you want. You're pushing it away from you. No. Okay. 
this is just a temporary phase that you're going through. You're taking a step back from something that you always wanted. And this step back is a temporary thing. It's not a permanent thing. It's not that you have fears and you have insecurities to accept it in your life. No. What is coming towards you is what you deserve truly. And you know that because you have been manifesting that. You know how hard you have worked towards your life. You know how, how deserving you are for every single thing that is coming towards you. You're highly aware about it. But it happens, right, at the last moment. Like when you are not expecting anything and out of the blues, suddenly what you have been wanting and manifesting for the last so many years if that thing is standing in front of you or if that thing is coming towards you, we we sort of not only feel excited, but also sometimes we are fearful. We refuse to believe sometimes, like, is this even real? So that's what I'm getting. That's the reaction I'm feeling for you. Like something what you want is coming towards you. And... For a moment, you're refusing to believe that this is true. Go and pinch yourself, okay? Temperance is telling me that... I think so. Balance is getting restored on an overall basis. Like, balance is getting restored literally everywhere. Career, finances, love, success, health, personal goals... Everywhere balance is getting restored in your life. I don't feel so that it is only for few specific areas of your life. Like balance is getting restored only in love life or only when it comes to money. No, I feel like overall balance is getting restored and you needed that. This is what exactly you were manifesting Pisces. Okay, the devil card over here is telling me that... You are going to become very possessive and obsessive about the things that are coming towards you. Very overprotective. Okay, maybe secretive. All of a sudden, you will notice that your behavior is changing. <laughs> okay, because finally, you are accepting whatever is coming towards you. Like you're getting out of that temporary phase of stepping back. And finally, you're like pinching yourself and you are like, oh my God, what I want is really there in front of me. I am accepting it. Okay. I'm letting it in. Okay. And now that it is a part of your life, whether it is love life, money or whatever it is, now that it is a part of your life, you are becoming very protective about it. Like what you want is coming towards you after such a long time that you are obviously becoming very protective about it. You are becoming obsessive about it, okay? Like if, if say for example, you are winning a lottery, okay? You will find yourself checking your account balance every single day, four to five times in a day, okay? And you will start thinking all the time, like what am I supposed to do with this kind of money? Where should I put it? Should I even tell people that I've won money? Should I even tell my home people that I've won money? Okay. Or will they demand money from me? Should I tell my friends or should I not? And etc. etc. If a love, if if a romantic person enters in your life, you're gonna be, be you're gonna become really possessive and obsessive about that person. Because you know deep down that this is exactly the kind of person I wanted and this is exactly the kind of person I was manifesting in my life and now finally this person is a part of my life. So, it's whatever is coming towards you, you're considering it as a very, very precious thing, a thing or a person. And that's why with the devil card, I do feel like there is a lot of over-possessiveness related to something or someone okay uh for some of you this can also be like someone else is very possessive about you pisces someone else is feeling extremely protective about you someone else is feeling they want to control your actions because they want you for them okay i feel like someone is romantically interested in you and they don't want anyone else to become interested in you they want to eliminate competition and all that stuff but like 
this person has a lot of insecurities and because of those insecurities this person they want to control you they want to control your actions okay so let's let's dive deep into your love life we have knight of cups knight of pentacles and then we have two of wands i feel like there is more than one person that is interested in you we have two knights we also have two of wands over here and that's why this person is insecure like you have an option and maybe the option that you have other than this person is better than them say for example for some of you your ex is coming back i mean with the knight of cups Knight of Cups also indicates an apology. So someone is coming back with an apology. But say, say that your ex is coming back. This ex is feeling over possessive and obsessive about you because they will notice that there is someone else who is also interested in you and whoever is interested in you is better than them. Has come towards you with a better offer they this person is better than this ex okay they have a lot more to offer you they have an offer which will uh or whatever they are going to offer that will bring a lot of emotional stability to your life okay so that's why this ex is very jealous and as well as insecure about the other person who is intending to make you an offer uh i feel like if i have to talk about the energy of x i feel like the energy of x is the knight of cups and the other person who is interested in you is knight of pentacles knight of pentacles is telling me that whoever this other person is uh they will come towards you with a much more stronger and a stable offer and you will find yourself getting attracted towards this knight of pentacles rather than the x i mean x is coming towards you with a lot of hopes I think so this person is also stalking you in some way. Okay. They are coming towards you with a lot of hopes. They they are thinking that they do have a chance with you. Even as of now, I think so Pisces will be willing to accept me back. So they are coming to, I mean, I don't know why they are thinking like this, like Pisces will accept me back. But somehow they feel like they, they do have a strong chance with you. Even as of now. Okay, which might be a figment of their imagination. It might be their illusion. Okay, but they are coming towards you with high hopes and with great confidence. Okay, somehow they feel like you are going to accept their offer, which actually I feel is far from reality. Okay, the reality is that you are becoming interested in someone else. And even if an ex is not coming towards you, there is someone else that is coming towards you. And this person is definitely looking way better than all of your exes. Okay, someone who is capable of offering you a very strong uh, connection, relationship. And with two of wands, I feel like you are going to make a choice. Okay, I mean, this person out of the two wands, he's choosing one wand. He's holding his hand onto one wand and of making an offer. So this person will offer their world to you. Okay, and you will choose this person. For some of you, I see Pisces, you are going to make an offer to this person. Okay. Uh, all right. So, let's move on to the Oracle cards. Before moving on to the Oracle cards, uh, just a couple of more messages. I feel like the whoever is coming towards you is pretty young or younger uh, or young looking. Either younger than you or young looking person. Uh this person is coming across as wise, wise and mature and someone who is secure in their life. They don't feel insecurity because of, I mean, they have been through that. Okay. They have been through that phase. They have grown out of that. Uh, small things don't make this person insecure. Okay, and when it comes to relationships, they are a very, very secure person in relationships, very emotionally secure. And because of their emotional security, you will also feel very emotionally secure. Okay. And that is why I see a strong emotional stability with this person. 
because they are secure with their own life, with their own emotions, they are going to transfer that energy to you. And you are going to become secure in your own life and with your own emotions and in this connection. Let's see what other uh, oracle messages create space for new love. This is a very strong and a direct message, Pisces. Like, stop thinking about the past. Create space for the new love. There is a deeper reason for each of your questions. Seek it. Seek it. Whatever questions you have, there is a reason why you are getting those questions. Seek answers to those questions. That's what the universe is telling you. Things are not as they appear. Uh, try to go deeper. Okay, just... Uh, I mean, don't try to arrive at conclusions or decisions because of the surface level appearance. Try to go deeper. Try to seek answers or uh, try to know someone well, or try to collect a lot of information about a situation or a, about a person before you end up drawing any kind of conclusion. Eha, when it comes to choosing who will be in your life, I recommend the recommend valuing their eha quality above all others. Have it your way. Okay, so I think so. When you see a person, how do you feel from within? Do you feel excited? Do you feel very positive? Do you, do you get this eha feeling? Do you feel positive when you see someone, meet someone? You got to you gotta experience that positive feeling when you're meeting someone. Okay? So that's the eha message over here. You were born with that it quality. You are very unique and cherish that. Dwell on what you love. Dwell. Don't dwell on what you don't love. Dwell on what you love. Don't think about what you don't love. Don't think about your excess. Don't think about situations that did not work out. Don't think about something you don't like. Okay? Think about what you like. Think about what you want. Okay? All right. I hope this resonates and uh, hit like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Link for the extended is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Take care. Have a great time. Pisces. Bye-bye.